Ladies and gentlemen, one and all, humble members of the TSC family, Mello greetings and welcome back once again to Let's Play The Witch's House, episode number 11. Can you believe it? Shh. Together with your very host, the silent shadow cookie. <coughs> And that's enough of that. When we last left off, our very protagonist here, young 13-year-old Daring Viola, was challenged by the fourth floor of the sinister structure itself to prove her worth, yes indeed, her cunning, wits, knowledge and wisdom. And how exactly will she be able to do that? Well, allow me to explain. Again, within four random chambers of this floor, it is our task to make a whole bunch of noise, starting with this one in particular, a little something I like to call the Pumpkin Gallery. <laughs> Is there supposed to be a joke in that? No, I, I, I don't think so. I am just laughing for no reason whatsoever. Very well then, first of all, as you may or may not remember, the last time I was in here, Viola had to die, left and right over and over because I desired to screw around. Not today though, no, not today, because I have learned my lesson. Indeed, more or less, I know what needs to be done. For starters, this pumpkin here, bothering it a whole bunch, will unlock the door in front of us, and it being unlocked should hopefully allow us to escape the wrath of the demonic black-haired Mona Lisa. Yes, I know what you're up to, possessed frame. I know oh too well, and yes, that pause, I wanted to add something there, but couldn't think of anything clever. A big pumpkin established that already in the past. And why only bother it three times if you can bother it four times? Still amazes me that this pumpkin did not decide to chew Viola's face off. Huh. Can't even bother it a fifth time, eh? Oh, they should have totally implemented that. Bother it five times and die as a result. Nevertheless, I know what you are staring at, Mona Lisa. The blue eyes gaze upon the score. And with the score right here, this white sheet, will I be able to play the piano? You should not play, the witch advises me. But I want to play. I want to hear its sweet melody. Because only I can play rather efficiently. If anyone else were to play, it would just sound horrible. Not in Viola's case though, no. Little known fact, she knows how to play a piano. You hear that, Viola? We, we, we cannot die. You can play, right? I, I am totally counting on you here, because if you can't, then this would be really awkward. In any case, getting back on track, pulling out this sheet won't yield anything good. There we go. Well, alright, I must admit it did yield something of value to sheet music, but what now? The door over on the left is now locked, but I did open up the northern door, so maybe, just maybe, I'll be allowed to survive today. <coughs> Alright, please allow me to explain what the frick happened there. I tried to run towards the right, but it didn't work. Apparently, you can't walk behind the couch. Huh. Should have probably tested that out before I decided to go through with my plan. Oh well. Just try to pretend that nothing happened. 
all right? Try to imagine that this is the beginning of the episode. Welcome back! Today, long story short, we shall make a whole bunch of noise within four random rooms. First of all, bothering this pumpkin a whole bunch? Yeah, I'll stop repeating myself. One little pumpkin was a kind and friendly individual. Two little pumpkins decided to work together as a team. Three little pumpkins ganged up on other people because they were incredibly rude. Shame on them. And four little pumpkins eventually decided to just throw it all away, committing mass suicide. Now... Hmm... Is it even possible? To run away from the demonic Mona Lisa, it is a fast-moving picture. And I can only try to walk around her like this. Oh dear, reminds me of a certain skull, a bloody one. Come on now, think Mr. TSC, think- Ah, of course! I can walk through here. Well, now it all makes sense. Bring it on! Demonic picture, how often have I said that already? This time you shall not have my existence. Bring it on, I dare ya. Here we do, oh my god. <laughs> the door locked. You saw that, right? The upper door locked as well. I am trapped. Um, if that's uh, the case, then what the hell? I swear to God, by everything that is holy and sacred, this sheet music will be mine to play around with. But how can I obtain it? Hmm. Any alternatives? Any ideas? Feel free to offer me to them, I'll wait. Alright, waiting's over. Got something for me? No? Well, that's just disappointing. Huh. The pumpkins won't help me. The doors are locked. The only thing I can try to imagine would be... To examine the spot where the picture was hanging before its assault. Talking very slowly to hammer in my masterful scheme. Yeah, let's try that. And just in case you didn't catch any of that, I will pull out the sheet music. Then make my way around the table and towards the original location of the picture. And maybe I... maybe I... a good question. I... what exactly? Ah! 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 Whoa! Tear down? I couldn't even read all that because she was still after me. Tear down? So I tore down the picture. It was still there, but looking rather disfigured. Well, now it is gone. A crumbled, distorted painting. The woman is gone from it, and she can stay as far away from me as possible. I honestly thought it was over, that the witch had finally decided to go for Viola. Oh, you've been a naughty little girl, haven't you? You've been toying around with my house for way too long already. It is time to finish this. But no, just another jump scare. Well, not really a jump scare, more like a startle scare, if that even exists, such a thing. Thanks, Neko-chan. Oh god. Whenever I see that tin soldier... <laughs> It'll shoot me. One of these days. 
In any case... Did I say that already? Hmm. <laughs> I should add that very sentence to anything I say. For example, what I just said. Did I say that already as well? I said everything already in my life. These words... These structures of sentences... Absolutely nothing new. Open sesame! Welcome to the second room, within which we need to make a whole bunch of noise. The... um... art gallery? If you can consider a chair art... oh, don't insult it. Do anything but that. Don't insult the furniture. The random objects. Indeed, the random object gallery. Or maybe just the storage chamber. Not a spider storage chamber though, just one storage chamber, one out of many, the garbage dump. Oh gosh, now you're insulting them again. <sighs> read the note, read the note, even though I am already quite aware of the hint. One second. This is new. I remember uh, the talk about a whole bunch of time-showing devices, but this sentence wasn't here before. What am I? A clock. You are? Obviously. Am I a clock? Mm-hmm. Correct. And thus the haunted objects disappeared. A turnkey fell out. A turnkey, a.k.a. Queen Key. Huh. A small turnkey with a queen engraved on the end. I wonder, will this key allow us to wind the music box? Also, sheet music, a musical score with no notes on it. Well, if it has no notes, then how are we going to play the piano? Wait a second. Could the piano be possessed as well? Will it eat me? <laughs> Why am I always saying that kind of thing? Because anything desires to eat me. The witch said it herself, wrote it down within her third diary, the house. It eats people. Ugh. Still not trusting any of you, pumpkins. But at least one of the lights has been lit. Wait a second. I made noise within two rooms, yet only one light is lit. Does that make any sense? Thank you, Neko-chan, but... Oh. Hmm. Much nicer than before, only the chair and the grandfather clock remain. Also, I am pretty sure of the fact that the floor is less bloody. Hmm. But giving in to the peace never helped me out much in the past. What do I need to watch out for? A large clock. It is not ticking. Can I wind this clock with the queen's key? Nothing on the back. <laughs> I love the attention to detail, though. You examine it from the back. It tells you nothing on the back. Not even a keyhole? No. Aha! Insert queen key. Well, if I am able to do this, then what about the music box. Aha! What? You can't reach the clock? Seriously? That's the challenge here? Oh, come on. I honestly wasn't sure whether I would be able to push this chair or not. I simply decided to go for it. But hey. For once, the most obvious scenario is the solution. Yup. Climbed on top of the chair. A large clock. It is not ticking. Bingo. Doesn't seem to fit. Oh. 
Well, darn. The most obvious of solutions is not the solution. Huh. But where could I find a second key? What about these cards? Some playing cards. Indeed. But nothing else of interest about them. Gonna save my game one more time. Ah, who am I kidding? I will save it again and again and again. Don't you dare. Excuse me, piano. The witch is telling me not to play. But... It seems like that would be the only available solution within this chamber. The only available method to create noise. Knocking over this vase does not appear to be an option. Hmm. A book titled I Studies. I've read that one already. Anything about the chairs? No. <clears throat> Perhaps the piano will play itself if I hand the sheet music to it? It's worth a try. A grand piano. A grand piano. There's nothing on the music rest. Don't play. Instead, be generous. There you go. Oh. Wait, plays sheet music? For a second there, I read play sheet music. No, 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 avoid that. Aha, place the sheet music on the piano. Oh. No, no, no. shook and spat out the turnkey. Got a kinky. Ugh. And that's the end of that quest line, ladies and gentlemen. I see it was a smart idea not to play. Why corrupt the sweet melody of the piano if it can play itself much better <laughs> by itself? Sounds so very convoluted, but you get the point. It's like somebody offering to toy around with a musical instrument even though he or she cannot play whatsoever. Why would you do that and just, um, searching for a proper word here, why would you desire to, um, destroy? I guess the sweet melody if somebody else can create a much sweeter melody. Yeah. Long story short, don't play. Just allow the piano to play by itself. A mysterious melody that I could have sworn I have heard before somewhere already. <coughs> two down, two more to go. A small turnkey with a king engraved on the end. 
I know, I know, ladies and gentlemen, so many of you are screaming right now. Why, Mr. TSC? Why didn't you play the piano? We wanted to see what happens. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I did decide to go through with rather stupid scenarios in the past, for example, reading the book of death. I thought, oh yeah, why the hell not give the audience something to, I don't know, chuckle about? If you really want to chuckle about a young girl scratching out her eyes. But this time I didn't desire to die. I wanted to solve a puzzle without. Please tell me that I am not the only one who just saw that. Moving on. Moving on, I have returned Grandfather Clock with a different key. Can this one unlock your secrets? Inserted the king key and turned it. The clock starts ticking. Uh, uh, uh. No, 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 no. It's like a bomb. A time bomb. I swear to God, it's gonna explode. It'll do something horrifying. And there, we created noise. Lots and lots of noise. The clock is ticking. Beautiful. No reason to linger. Last but not least... Ah! Get the fuck out! Uh, 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 calm down, Viola. Calm down. No reason to panic. No reason to save state. <laughs> like a madman. I knew that it was gonna shatter eventually, just like the first mirror. <gasps> Please disappear. I beg of you. Disappear. Do me the favor. Look, we are just sitting on our individual tables having a nice cup of tea. You're lacking any eyeballs, but that's alright. I am not gonna judge you. Long purple hair, perhaps blue. A red ribbon in her hair, as well as a red dress. Come on now. Leave. Leave. I am enjoying your hospitality greatly. Now leave. She won't go away. Alright. Perhaps I am bothering her. Perhaps this is the very room where the witch desires to have her cup every now and then. Coffee, tea, whatever it may be. No reason to disturb her. <laughs> See? It wasn't that difficult now, was it? But what am I supposed to do with this music box? Play the music box with twelve. Twelve what? A small music box. It's missing its key. Hmm, let me think. Twelve as in the time? 12 o'clock? Maybe I need to activate it from the north, like this? <coughs> ah! <coughs> uh, uh. Holy shit! The most realistic death scene so far. It judged over my answer, eh? Indeed, it did. Shot me right between the eyes. Good God, I just witnessed how a soldier, more or less humanoid, executed a young girl. Thirteen years old. <sighs> Wrong answer. Oh... This is gonna be another one of them 
Impossible riddles. Play the music box with 12. Huh? Do I need to walk around it 12 times? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. <sighs> I am probably making myself look like a complete freaking idiot right now. That cannot have possibly been the answer. It's missing its key. Where is the key? That's what I'd like to find out. Am I still in possession of a key? Ah, the queen key. Of course, I completely forgot about that one. Let's use it. Insert queen key. Wait. Let's insert it from the north. Twelve o'clock. Inserted the key and played the music box. <laughs> Sound was made in all the rooms. Yes, yes, we've done it, ladies and gentlemen. Primary objective accomplished. Now, the way towards the fifth floor should be unlocked. Oh, God. But I have grown kind of used to the silence of this floor. There aren't all that many deaths. As long as you follow the rules, you won't die. I don't wish to proceed. <sighs> but the door is now open. Christ. <coughs> this journey must end sooner or later. Doesn't even matter. If I'll die at the end, I just want it to be over. And not because I despise this game, but because I want a conclusion. <coughs> <coughs> Not that kind of conclusion to this floor, though. A toy soldier with a fake gun and his legs are bent. Looks like the possession just left his shell as well. Marvelous. The door opened. I told you. I told you all, didn't I? Eerie music, a strange blue aura. No. No, 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 no. I appreciate the peace and silence. I really, really do. I was just kidding when I said that I didn't trust the silence. I love it beyond belief. Let me stay here. Just give me a room, I'll promise to play with you for all eternity, which I promise to love you like a sister. We'll have fun every single day, eating breakfast, dressing up, um, just enjoying ourselves to the fullest. Just don't make me proceed. Don't. Thankfully the episode is over. <laughs> no, I can't end it like this. I need to at least examine the first chamber of the new floor. Wait a second, it isn't even a new floor. It's just another chamber of the fourth one. Oh, damn it. <coughs> damn it. There is no place I know to compare with pure imagination. A sobbing statue of a woman. Why are you sobbing, miss? 
Ugh. Talk to her? No, 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 no. As I mentioned already in the past, a young girl or lady should be allowed to cry in peace. Colorful glass, is this a church? A dark stained glass window. <laughs> ah! I only desired to examine the crack in the wall. No need to make it fucking explode in my face. Is this house wired to self-destruct? Oh, I don't think we've got enough dead people in here yet. More stained glasses. Excuse me, can I help you? Woman statue. It can talk. My ring. It's not here. Oh. Well, maybe I can find it? It's locked, but you may be able to pry it open. Nah. Oh. Delicious. Another diary of the witch. What could this one be about? The Witcher's Diary, Part 4, diving deeper and deeper into her past. I don't like illness, because it kept me from going outside. Because it made no one love me. We know, Witch, we know all of this already. You are sick. Nobody loved you. Nobody played with you. It's not lit. That's fine. A flower adorns the desk. That's fine as well. Very well then. Looks like we've got no other choice. My... my ring. Where is your ring? Uh-oh. Oh! Oh my fucking god, what was that? Pry it open. Pry it open. Hide. What? The fuck? Was that? Oh no. 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 It could be anybody. The giant teddy. The skull, the spider, the suit of armor, the snake monstrosity that ate Kerochan. Maybe a giant version of Kerochan who's come back from the grave to take my life. It could be anybody. <laughs> no, 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 Lady, help me. Please help me. <sighs> what the hell? It's like the wall exploded and thus revealed a black stained chimney. Not ignited, but still a chimney. Made the piano stop playing, though. It also knocked over quite a few of them chairs. Ugh, and here I was expecting a monster. <laughs> Who am I kidding? Who am I kidding? Catchphrase time! I am kidding nobody. That's the proper answer. Something will jump out of that chimney. Something I don't wish to be associated with. Oh, you heard it too, eh? Hear the loud crash. Something happen? Well, boy, am I glad that you worry about my very self for once, Neko-chan. <coughs> yes, indeed, something happened. A random chimney decided to appear. A fireplace. Crawl inside. Very inviting. <laughs> my very name has been the Shadow Cookie. And I shall see you all next time, ladies and gentlemen. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to leave me a like or perhaps even subscribe if you desire to see more content like this. Don't forget, though, it is only a suggestion, not obligation. 
And did I mention already that this has become like one of my most favorite horror games of all time already? I love this game. The Witcher's House, to be completely honest, I kind of don't want it to ever end. And why? Because once it is over, it'll take some time to find another experience that is similarly, similarly frightening. Similarly, does that word even exist? Once this journey is over, it'll take me some time to find another one that is equally as scary and effective. <laughs> Funny, is it not? One half of me wants it to end, the other half wants it to continue until the end of time itself. Speaking of... Um... Until... Indeed. <laughs> until next time, ladies and gents, have a good one.